Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. Give the mind a good place to stay. Because if the mind doesn't have a good place to stay in the present moment, it's going to go wandering around. Like a child that doesn't have a good home to stay in, goes wandering around the streets. And you know what happens to children wandering around the streets. They get into a lot of trouble. And there's a lot of danger. So to keep your mind safe, to keep your mind from getting into trouble, stay right here. And you settle in right here. You see that the mind has some goodness to it. That's one of the things that the Johns keep mentioning, which is that you don't realize how good the mind can be until you've trained it. It's got a lot of potential. And one of the ways of developing the potential, of course, is not only to meditate, but also to be generous and to be virtuous. The mind gains a greater greater sense of its own worth. And then you begin to appreciate the goodness in other people more, too. When you don't have much goodness inside you, you look at other people's goodness and you say, it's not really good, there must be some, some, something wrong, some hypocrisy, some, something that's hidden. In other words, when you don't have any goodness, nobody else in the world can be good. But when you have your own goodness inside, you look around and you recognize goodness in other people, and you rejoice in it. This is why building your own goodness inside is a way of also making life a lot easier in our society. If we could trust in one another's goodness, it would be a lot easier to get along. The problem we see nowadays is people don't trust one another's goodness. They don't trust other people to be truthful. They don't trust other people to be honest. They don't trust other people to really to be generous. And as a result, it gets harder and harder to live with one another. But we can begin to trust in the goodness of other people because we've learned how to realize that we have some goodness in ourselves. That's when human society is a good place to live. So today we're going to see a lot of people doing a lot of good things. And if you're coming from a position of your own inner goodness, it's going to make you happy. No sense of jealousy, no sense of resentment. You're happy for the goodness of other people. Because it makes the world a better place, and that way the goodness gets magnified, gets multiplied. The word we have in Pali, Anamodana, literally means happy together with somebody. You see they're doing something good and you rejoice with them. It's related to mudita, which means empathetic joy. The same sort of thing. You're not jealous, you're not resentful of other people's goodness. And it's easier when you've developed some goodness of your own. So work on your inner goodness, especially the goodness that comes from meditation, because that's the goodness that goes deepest into the mind. The goodness of generosity is like a rain shower that penetrates a couple inches into the soil. The goodness of virtue goes deeper than that, but the goodness of meditation goes all the way down into the center of the earth, all the way down to the center of the mind. And when that's been nourished by your own inner goodness, you see the goodness of others and you are happy for them as well.